Our chemo well, brains are covered today with blonde. Blonde, yes, we chose blonde today. Uh, we're twinning. Last time yeah. it was pink and purple. Mm -hmm. um, and we are going to do an episode next time on our wigs. And we're going to tell you the story of each wig because wigs are very, very important during chemo. Because what happens during chemo? <laughs> it all <laughs> falls out. Completely, yes. Not, not for everyone, but for a large number of us. Yes. It it depends on the Yes. Well, that's true. Yeah, it goes. And mine, uh, and you know, some people, and we're, we'll talk again, this is all chemo related. Some people can make it three, four, five treatments, six treatments, more, all of that. And they have hair. Maybe that's they make right. it through. Mine was round one. Y'all, round one. Yeah, no, that's crazy. Brushing yeah. it, and I was like, okay, oh, oh, okay. It started to come out, and I was like, okay, that's to be expected, to be expected. Before round two, I had no hair. Oh, girl, what? Oh, my yeah. gosh. It was just long. I, I still had eyebrows, um, yeah. but see, not 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 really right. well. And it was like after round two that I kind of just stopped having eyebrows and then eventually no yeah. eyelashes or anything. And eyelashes. I know. We look like aliens. Yeah. Like I looked like a 93-year-old alien. I was bald, pale, <laughs> big eyes, no hair anywhere. I was like, it was, it was terrible. Alien. I love yeah, it. Total alien. I lost my oh, hair. I had to shave it. I didn't, I started losing it after one, like you said. Yeah. Number two, a week later, my hair was, it lost elasticity mm -hmm. and I kept it with a clip, uh, like, you know, tied it with a clip because I thought maybe that way it would not fall. Maybe. And I know. We'll it. I know. But the quality of the hair, it was awful it was all clumped together because yeah. it loses elasticity so girl when i took that clip off my hair had an erection it went <laughs> it didn't move you've seen the picture yeah I it was it's funny i know i'm going to show the picture next time it Please. was so funny it, was, it went like this yeah nothing and so my friend just sheared me like a sheep i'm telling you and the yeah. hair looked like a dead cat because it was all clumped together you know, I, I did a whole thing where i videoed myself again we're artists so i was like of course of course Let's document this whole journey the documentary will come out eventually friends i'll keep you posted you'll hear about it here first <laughs> oh. But I, I did, I videoed myself at a certain point, so much of the hair was gone that it was like, just little, like this was, cause my hair was long, like like your wig long, 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 long. And it was just like here, like gorgeous like hair. Little, little bits, little bit only, I would have like five hairs together right here. And so I, I ended up, and it was an interesting experience, um, cutting, I cut my own and then my friend came over and we shaved the rest of it. Yeah, yeah. just clean it out. That's yeah. good. It went step by step kind of thing, like cut and then shave. I really, yeah. for me, it was, I was like, this is something that I want to own. I want to own this part of it. I want to experience yeah. it. And I had to do it by myself um, because it was so personal. Absolutely. Yeah. A hundred percent. I um, should put a banner here that we're talking about the chemo saga. Let me chemo. put it. Yeah. Chemo saga. Well, and, it and is. So, uh, so that people know, uh, I went through four rounds of chemo. Grace has me beat. Six. She did six. She did yeah. six. I, she is a warrior. I know I actually met a woman this weekend who went through 16. <gasps> See, I don't know show. how those people make it, girl. How do they make it? No idea. Oh, I, that's why and she even had, um, she even had the red, red bag. The what? The red bag, the red bag chemo. So for the chemo, you oh. get multiple types of chemo. Um, there are options. Oh. You can go and talk to your doctor if they're like, hey, you need to have chemo. Sometimes they'll give you the option. I was really lucky that when I went in and I was talking to her, she, oh, she said, okay, we caught it early enough. Yeah, you're going to want to do this. Option, you can always not do it. That's your choice. It's your body. And I was like, yeah. well, I think we're going to go with the medically advised route. Thanks. Absolutely. Um, Here's your A, here's your B. I went with the A option, which was a medium option. I did, um, I mean, and by, by the way, medium does not mean easy. It's very oh my God. Nothing, it, nothing related to chemo yeah. is easy. No. So, uh, so 
But the the kicker, the big, big guns was that third bag. I only had two bags. The third bag is a red bag. And the red bag is um, in circles called the red dra devil dragon. What? Oh. And yeah. what does it do? Um, I, 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 because I didn't have it, I didn't, I don't know too much, but we can actually ask our friend who comes on here. Um, Absolutely. But, Essentially, it is such a big gun that if you're at a certain stage or say you're triple negative or they're really trying to fight it, you don't really have a chance. You don't have an option. That's the one you're going with yeah. um, if you're going to go the Western medicine route. Mm -hmm. um, and it impacts your liver, your heart, everything. They have to do like checks for you before oh. you get it every single time Ugh. because it is such a it's it's, it's a yeah. of everything. But yeah. that's because that's it's doing its 